I appreciate our district. I appreciate our people, our conversations. Uh, it's fun to watch new people come in and get excited about being a part of the footprint of a fast-growing district. And uh, my goodness, what, what more could you ask for uh, when you come to work every day and you get to work with kids and, and be a part of something that creates value in society? You know, uh, we go into executive session. That's supposed to be top secret stuff that we talk about in there. At the end of the day, um, what are those conversations about? A lot of the conversations are tough. A lot of the conversations are about doing what's best for kids. And all times we may not all agree, but we eventually do what's best for the kids. One thing that I, I have learned that since I've been over here is that everyone at, at home office has been on a campus and has been a campus principal. So we know what it's like uh, to, to be in those trenches on a campus every day. And we know, we know the demand and the expectation and, and it's not easy. And our job is to support them and our teachers on a daily basis and uh, not be a barrier, not be a roadblock for anything, but to give you guys what you need to be successful. How can we grow as a team? How can we support one another? How can we support our principals, our teachers, our students? It's just what can we do to move a path forward for all in, in the most kind and loving way. You know, to educate kids, those teachers they have to work together. It's a team. Yes, sir. And one thing that, that really kind of changed my attitude towards data, I could see how if I was weak in a certain phase of math and then next door Mrs. Smith was strong, the data would show me my weakness. And if I'm truly a team player, I'm going to go, okay, Mrs. Smith, Help me get better at this. We want to get the best out of our kids and out of our staff and, and pushing our community forward. I mean, and that's what we're always trying to do is strive to get better every day. It's just such a foundation with this staff in, in, in the Melissa Schools and the Wets transforming on a daily basis. When you've got core values in place and everything that you look at, you look at through a lens of core values and the kind of people you want that fit that, the kind of people that fit. I've always believed I can teach anybody whatever I need to teach them if they've got the basic things. And what we have in Melissa, we got in place, what Kenny and the people for years have done in Melissa is build that community. And, and the staff is coming together with the core values, with building the relationships, the commitment we make. And uh, there's not a better place to be. The character of our kids is at a, is at a level that I think is uh, over the top when you compare to other districts. We want people to say, what are they doing? How did they get their students here? Because our, our teachers are strong. That's one thing I can say when walking across the different campuses and being in the different classrooms. We, we have strong teachers, passionate teachers, and it's just what can we do to for that next level for our students. And it may not just be instructionally, it can be our community, it can be what we do culturally on our campuses, but I think this year will be that, how are we gonna refine what we already do well. The things that get really stressful, the truly deep down stressful for us as administrators is when you have to make hard decisions. We have a real team approach to that. You're never on an island. You know, we talk about, you don't have to make decisions in isolation. I've had some experiences over the last year or so where, um, you know, as a team, we really come together and support each other in those times. We're, we're, we're a group here um, trying to do the right thing all together. You know, it is truly, you know, my goal to retire here. And so that's truly what I feel about, Melissa, that, that I want to spend the rest of my life, you know, here in this district and, and, and leading and guiding these, this community of, of students and parents. We're here, I'm here because of the kids and because I want to see kids develop. I want to see kids reach their, their, their goals. I want to see kids go off and be great and do great things, create families and come back and tell me stories about it. And that's, I'm here as a resource. I like to see people grow and develop. And as far as the kid's concerned, that's my number one reason why I'm here. I'm not here for a paycheck. I'm here to see people grow, develop. I like to see that.
brand. Uh, thank you for everything you do. You are so thoughtful. You listen to everything we say. You are just a great counselor overall. And I'm going to be so sad when I go to middle school and I'm not going to have you anymore. So just thank you for being you. My favorite thing about Miss Eichel is how my vocabulary went through the roof through the year. Each nine weeks we learned 45 root words and so at the end of the year we had over 150 root words. So now whenever I hear certain words that I didn't really used to know, I'll, I'll be like, hey, I know that or I, I know what that means. So Miss Eichel really helped me in my vocabulary. Thank you, Miss Eichel. Hey Coach Mackey, thanks for being the best teacher I could have possibly asked for last year and thank you so much for just not only being a teacher and a coach, but really coaching us and teaching us on life and teaching us to be the best possible people that we can be, not only in school, but out in the real world. So thank you and I love you and I'm so sad I'm not gonna be in your class next year, but I look forward to seeing you every day in the hall. She was really nice. She gives a lot of hugs. I love Miss Summer because she makes me feel special. I think that she was really kind, really loving, um, really patient, and the best teacher. When I first met Miss Perdomo, uh, I was in seventh grade, and I went into her classroom. And I was like, oh, oh dang, this is going to be hard. And I uh, kind of realized that she was going to be my English teacher throughout my whole middle school career. Well, all she's done for me is amazing. When I first started out, I was struggling with it, and I just really wasn't enjoying it. And she helped me figure out my main problem, and I was just, uh, I just got distracted. She was always cared about me, and she always gave me extra help on the STAR test, even to the point where we even had an extra class in the eighth grade for it. But what's amazing about her is that she knows how to find a problem, like a very deep problem with whatever you're doing, and knows how to find a solution for that. Melissa ISD is lucky to have her because um, she's a teacher who is really one of a kind when it comes to her work. And teaching isn't really her, uh, her job, it, it's her passion. The best thing about Ms. Hernandez's class is learning Spanish with her is so fun all the time. Everything has an association, so you learn a word and then you get an association that has to do with a life lesson. Everything that she does just makes, puts a smile on your face because all she wants to do is make her class enjoyable for everyone and she does the best job at it. She's amazing. She was very nice. She helped me a lot. I liked having Miss Webb this year because she was funny and kind and made everyone feel included. Thank you, Miss Kinzel. Um, I learned a lot about writing this year, and uh, whenever I was in your class, I was really shy. I started to not be shy because you were being really fun, and like you just let us be ourselves, and like you really teach us a lot about writing and social studies. And I really and I have fun in your class a lot. Thank you, Mr. Pickle, just for. Um just being a great teacher, I've learned so much um, in my time in band. Not just about band, but just about the world and that you've taught me like so many things about how to act and discipline. And I've also just gained such a love for percussion and drumming. And uh, I have so much respect for you and um, all the percussionists. Yeah, just thank you for being my teacher for all this time. I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Miss Miller, for helping me with my cursive and my reading techniques. They always had game boards for us at the very end of the uh, semester, the end, very end of the school year. It's fun. Kept doing it over and over to the star. She makes everything fun. Like instead of yelling at us, she'll she'll smile a lot, laugh a lot, and if we don't understand, she'll probably make that funny, make us understand it. So my favorite thing about Ms. Nesbitt is she's really hearing and sometimes when we read books she, she like whenever there's a funny part she laughs with us. At the beginning of the year I was like kind of scared but whenever it was like whenever I was in the middle of the year I was really happy because I knew I found the right teachers. Thank you Ms. Moore and Mr. Brenner for always encouraging me to be the best I can be and making sure that I can have fun in everything I do. I love your spirit and your determination and it makes me want to be a better me and give it 100% in all that I do. I love you. 
Thank you for believing in me. You always made me laugh. You always made the class fun. Mr. Klaus, thank you for always being so welcoming to new students and for always showing us how to um, do the right thing during school and to always do our best while we're learning. My favorite thing about Ms. Talbert is you can always talk to her and she'll always be there to listen. She's really nice and she has a really positive attitude, which is really encouraging. Synergy was a great mentor towards me when I wasn't at my highest point in Spanish. Synergy was just a really funny guy and just always was positive and upbeat and just wanted to help everybody who needed help in, in his class. Miss Fielding was probably my favorite math teacher. She was, had a really hard class, so it was um, very focused all the time. It was one new lesson every day. You got to learn constantly, and she was really funny, and I just enjoyed having her class a lot. I think she was a great teacher. Thank you, Coach Hobbs, for teaching me new skills in algebra, hurdles, and life skills. Thank you, Coach Pitzer, for making me a better writer. I like that she's funny and that she gets like everything I say. She's always happy and, and then she's someone who likes to listen a lot, a lot so I tell her a lot of stories all the time and I like that I have someone to just say everything that happens in life. Hopefully I get her next year so I can um so I can talk to her all the time. Mr. Sparks has always really been an inspiration to me. It's, just, it's what he's portrayed throughout the school year. Last year, during athletics, a lot of the times I'd look into the press box and I would see him there cheering us on and supporting us. And he was there at 7 o'clock almost every day. He taught me that no matter how hard things get, eventually something will turn for the better. He portrayed this even on an individual level and he was able to just spread this message, message to everyone. He has a lot of good strength for this school and this school district, and he's just such a great principal, and I don't know what it would be like without him. A lot of the times, he would just walk around the school, and he would give away free sodas to anybody who would answer his trivia questions. He really was so dedicated to the students, and he treated them like his own children. And I'm going to say his favorite line that he closes out every day with the announcements, which is, Have a great Cardinal Day!